Hello everyone and welcome back to Taito Ecology and we are getting ready to pop into our biome Fernville and check on how the jungle is doing. And I think it's going to be okay because we have been keeping the jungle going for two years, three months, and 27 days now. It's been about three months in the game time since we have last visited. And the last time we were here, we added in a ton of marsh deer. We added in the peccaries and we added in the jaguars. So we did kind of throw in some of those large level herbivores and carnivores. And we're going to have to see if our biome has managed to survive that. Removing tourists. Who's this is this is a no no humans zone only a little cute owl bots All right, let's see how things are going I'm not as nervous as I used to be All right weekly income. We earned a lot of money And yes, all right look at that. So it looks like not too many things have died. We've lost some ants We've lost um, some frogs. You really have to keep the frogs up and going. I've noticed I think frogs are kind of like oh, there's some death. There's already some death <laughs> There's dead things in the water like really really dead things But I've noticed that the frogs maybe are a little bit like the mice. <gasps> Look at my ferns My ferns have fronds I think the frogs are a bit like the mice and the grasslands where they're supposed to be one of those things that animals a lot of different animals eat a ton of and they are supposed to eat a lot of the insects and there's supposed to be a lot of them oh and look at the little pine pineapples they're so cute where is everything hello man after the rush of the grasslands are you sure things haven't died wow where is everybody like, all right, there's some capybara. There's one of the Kamundis. All right, and here's more of the baby Kamundis. And there's a frog lit, a frog lit? Is that a baby frog? But yeah, you know, I'm, I'm realizing, wait a second, this isn't nearly as packed as our grasslands is. I think we can probably add in a lot more. I expect to see like animals pretty much tripping over themselves in the rainforest. Where's our jaguars? All right, maybe it's just because we have a bigger area now. <gasps> Look at the roots of this tree. That is so cool. But yeah, where is everybody? Our peccaries. Our marsh deer. It didn't say anybody died. But where is everybody? Hello? Jaguars? Marsh deer? I, I, I added a ton of you in. There's the marsh deer right here. There's three of them left, apparently. Uh, did things die? Did I lose things? And it's just not telling me. Armadillos, Keepybara. Hello? No, no, apparently not. I could have sworn. Huh. Well, you know what, you guys? I gotta say, after having checked in on. Oh, there's our jaguars. All right, yeah. You know what? You know what? I'm feeling sassy. After having run the grasslands that we have and having so, 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 so many more animals over there. I'm feeling kind of sassy. I think that there's plenty of room to add in a ton more animals. So we're totally going to do that. I think that there's some plant life missing. And let's see, here's a marsh deer. And I don't see our ocelots. I don't see a lot of anything over here, actually. <laughs> so, all right, there's a jaguar, though. And there's only one ocelot. <gasps> And the babies are gone. Okay, I think we need to add in a lot of the big guys. So let's do this. I think that we actually need to put in like, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like a lot more died than it is being reported to us. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start adding in lots of prey items like these guys. Um, I'm pretty sure, didn't we have a second population of ocelots that we added in? And I'm, I'm pretty sure there were some tortoises I feel like things have kind of gone a little bit empty. So you know what? Today we're going to focus more or less entirely on prey items then. So we're going to add in prey items all over the place because I really want to see them come in and be super successful. And we're going to try out my experiment with the frogs because I now have this new theory about the frogs being one of the like key points, one of the key things that you're supposed to have tons of here in order to make sure all of your animals survive. So we're gonna be doing frogs. And if we do tons and tons of frogs, then you know what we need? We need tons and tons of ants. So we're gonna add ants all over the place too. All right, more energy. Juice up the, the bio machines or whatever is producing these. And I also think we need more, do, 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 more marsh deer. So I'm gonna add in more marsh deer over here. 
I'm gonna add in more marsh deer over here. We're gonna go kind of all over the place, you guys. We're going a little bit haywire here. But today will be the day we focus on adding in lots of herbivores, lots of prey items, because I think we've lost some. I'm really getting the very strong feeling that our report is not accurate. And I basically want to get in here, and when we come and visit, I want it to feel like we're just surrounded by animals. Just animals everywhere, like it is in the grasslands. It's actually very addictive in the grasslands to get down and just crawl around. See how many deer we started out with? I'm pretty sure we lost a lot of deer, and it just didn't report it. So yeah, we'll have to work on that. All right, Amazon flame fruit tree. Lots of those guys down here, please. Yes, there we go. And then we'll add in some ants because we need tons of ants because we're gonna have tons and tons of frogs. And let's add in maybe some of these guys too because I think these guys are pretty good. And then some of these guys are gonna be over here too. Yeah, because they don't seem to eat too many of the plants. We seem to be able to keep our plant population up and going without too much trouble. But we're having a lot of trouble... I mean, our ocelots. I did not expect to lose that many ocelots. Our ocelots have been doing very, very well for a long time now. Alright, so yeah, we'll add in lots and lots of ants and lots and lots of frogs. And we'll kind of treat the ants and the frogs as um, the big basis to that pyramid of food energy. Alright, plus I really want to see the jaguars have babies. I really do. So frogs there. Let's put frogs here. Maybe the frogs will be the thing that were kind of that was kind of missing to help the poor like agouti populations be able to survive the ocelots. And I think that they really kind of were getting wiped out by the ocelots because they need to eat so many. So maybe the ocelots will start eating frogs because I do think the ocelots were eating a lot of frogs. So we're going to have lots and lots and lots of frogs, just like we had lots and lots and lots of the deer over in the grasslands. All right, we'll see if that works. I feel really bad for our little ocelots. They've been with us for so long, and now we added jaguars, and the jaguars are like, no, I'm just going to like ignore the marsh deer that Siri provided, and I'm going to eat all the ocelots. That was not part of the plan, you guys. That was 100% not part of the plan. All right, in fact, I'm going to even add in some marsh deer over here, I think, so we can start trying to get them in here to fill in that niche because it's kind of actually it reminds me a lot of um orcas so orcas and otters it used to be that there were lots and lots and lots of whales in our oceans and orcas are killer whales they eat whales that's what they specialize in and the orcas and uh, yes they are whales themselves but they specialize in eating like mm, you know like your gray whales and your blue whales and things like that that's normally the huge food sources that they rely on and when you kill and eat a whale that's a lot of food but when humans came in and started doing so much whaling then what happens is that you remove that huge amount of food in one whale from the orca's diet and then the orcas still have to eat that huge amount of food but they will have smaller items smaller prey items like seals or um like penguins or they go after otters like they didn't used to eat otters and then orcas started eating otters because they had to start filling in the gap of they didn't have their main food source whales anymore and to eat enough otters to make up for the energy that they would need look at the jaguar running where's it going let's go see to eat enough otters to make up for the energy that one up oh, there goes rest in peace little one that one um whale would have been is a lot of otters and so then the otter population started collapsing so i feel like that's kind of what's going on here is we need to have more mid-level things in the marsh deer for the jaguars to eat so that they don't go after the little the little agoutis these little guys are little rodent guys too often so that then the ocelots will have enough food and i feel really bad for our ocelot oh and there's gonna be like so many days till reproduction i don't know if it's gonna make it I don't know if they're going to make it. I kind of want to add in another ocelot, but we almost never keep them well fed enough. But okay, we're going to put in another ocelot population way over here and we'll see if they have better luck. And then we're going to continue with my new theory about needing to have like these guys having the frogs stand in as another another big baseline of things to be eaten. There we go. And I'm going to need so many ants, though, to make up for all of the frogs we're adding in. But hopefully they can stand in so it's not just the rodents trying to bear the brunt of the ocelot's hunger. All right. And then let's see. We need more energy. 
But we'll have to see if this works. It may not. That's kind of one of the big fun, fun, fun parts of doing this. Is that it's all just one big giant experiment. Alright, let's see. And do I have enough? I probably need to add in some earthworms. Maybe some millipedes over here. So that we've got more for our insect eaters to eat. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There we go. Probably more plants over here too. Let's throw in some flame trees. Lots of flame trees. And let's put in some ferns. So there's plenty of leaves to be nibbled on. Alright, almost there. Come on, ferns. You want to be down here. Come on, you look so cute down here. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait. Aha. Gotcha. There we go. And then maybe more flame trees. Because, yeah, we want to have plenty and plenty. And it just... After being in our grasslands, and I have to admit, it's probably a bad thing that over there right now, and we'll have to check in on it sometime soon, uh, where there's so, so many of the deer mice. It's so cool, though, to get down on the ground and to run around and just see all the grasslands full of animals. That's what I want to have happen over here. And we've got a really, really big area that we can do that in. All right, zebra plants. So cool. And then more of these little guys. Let's throw in more ants. Ants everywhere! I want ants crawling all over the place. I want you to be able to look down and find ants no problem. Alright, and hopefully adding in more animals. Alright, and maybe more of these little guys even. Will end up resulting in lots of pineapple. Pineapple need to go- pineapple and ants. Those are probably going to be like the very bottom of our pyramid, more or less. We need tons of pineapple and ants. If there's room for pineapple and there's room for ants and they're going down. And we'll just have to see if that does anything. All right, there we go. Lots and lots of pineapple. Lots and lots of pineapple. Maybe even some papaya will provide a little bit of a variety. I know we've definitely talked about that before, but it's definitely something that should be, hopefully, I hope, a little obvious. But if it's not, that's fine. That you want to have variety so that if something happens, the temperature is weird one year, or there's like a disease that goes through the plants another year and wipes out all of one kind of plant, you don't lose all of your populations because they only had, like, they only had pineapple to eat and all the pineapple died. They need to be multiple different types of things for them to eat. Oh, moths are being eaten. What? Now that is so not something I anticipated, but there need to be multiple different types of foods for all of the animals, and that's why a lot of your specialists, like say the panda and its bamboo forest, or the way the red panda only wants to usually have babies in very old bamboo forest, or the way the koala will only eat eucalyptus leaves, that's why a lot of those specialist eaters actually struggle a lot when their food starts becoming very scarce because what are they going to do if they, they aren't able to adapt and eat something new? They're going to die. And hopefully we don't have too many specialist eaters here. Alright, there we go. Amazon flame trees. Of course, these are all very pretty but I'm probably going to need to add in some pollinators in this corner. But we're filling it up you guys! We are filling it up and we'll get down in Alabot in just a minute now and fly around and see how it looks. Alright, where's my pollinators? Do, 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 do. Blue morphos. Oh, there's some over here, but aha! See, and the frogs have low population. So that's just adding to my theory that we need to have lots and lots of frogs all over the place too. And lots of pollinators. Because butterflies are very busy. Have you guys ever just been outside and noticed how butterflies are like constantly, constantly, constantly flying around nonstop, making sure that all the things are pollinated in their eternal quest for food? All right, so there we go. We have lots and lots of frogs down here. We have our little ocelots. All right. All right, the moths. I did not expect the moths to be something that starts being eaten. Is it going to tell us anything about moths, actually? I don't think I've checked on the moth. Can I, can I even check on the moth? Is that a thing that can happen? Yeah, I can. Biodext. Diet. Most moths can't resist the sweet taste of flower nectar. By sipping nectar from flowers, moths pick up pollen. When they fly to a new flower, the pollen is deposited, fertilizing the flower and allowing it to make fruits or seeds. Many insectivores eat moths. Bats, who are nocturnal, are one of the moth's prime predators, though birds also eat moths and moth, cap moth caterpillars. And that reminds me, there's bats where I live in North Carolina. I have seen them just like twice, and what does a bat look like when they fly by your window? It looks like the brief 
it's like it's like a glimpse of lightning it's co- it comes and it goes so quickly you don't really get to bask in how awesome it is but it's really amazing and they're almost always after the bats that come up near the street lights or they come near your like window at night and i think they're amazing humans often consider moths to be pests not me cuz they attract my bats that i love so much some types of moth can be can devastate crops and farmlands and other types can lay eggs in homes okay i take that back the moths that laid eggs in our pantry when we lived in Missouri, I hated because they got into everything. You could have like a sealed container and they could wiggle in there. They are awful. Um, they like to eat clothing. Dun, dun, dun. Every biome on earth except the Arctic. Do, do, do. All shapes, sizes, and colors. Okay, what's going on over here? Eep. We are losing our moths. Okay, so I guess we need lots of moths. The frogs are like, nah, forget these ants. I want to eat moths. So let's put in lots of moths. And, I mean, they're important pollinators, so we're just kind of figuring out what should go on the bottom. See, and the frogs are getting nommed. We're figuring out who needs to be the big gigantic base on the bottom of our food pyramid here. And, let's see, let's grab more energy. And we'll put in some random plants over here. Ah, it's my favorite thing in the world to do. Just zip along and leave plants behind me. If I could have a superpower, that would probably be it. Like, where I would walk could just, like, leave flowers in my wake. That would be so cool. I would be so happy. I would be so happy, like a little plant sim or something. Okay, who's who's happening? We're losing so many moths. Critical moth time. What is going on here? All right. Well, we're continuing to build this up, and it's almost to the stage where we're just going to have to step back, cross our fingers, <laughs> see what happens. Here, we'll give lots and lots of orchids to these little blue morphos so that they've got something to work with. And then, let's see, maybe... Okay, there's more frogs over here. I just feel like there need to be tons of frogs. And hopefully if we have tons of frogs, it'll divert the attention of the ocelots. And if we can divert the attention of the ocelots, maybe we can also divert the attention of the jaguar. Because I feel so bad. We've had that one little population of ocelots since the very beginning. And they even had babies. And now the babies are gone. Like, the babies are probably dead. I think that's what happened. They got eaten. They got eaten by the um, the jaguars. All right, come on. Come on, ferns. Ah, so stubborn. Go, little Albot, go. Help me get these ferns over here. There we go. Almost. 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 There we go. All right, there's those. Maybe some zebra plants. I just want to stick plants all over the place. This is getting to be more like what I expect to see in a rainforest, though, where you come in and it's just dense, dense, dense overgrowth everywhere. And there we go. And also lots and lots of animals walking around. Though the reality of some of the rainforest is a lot more boring than that, just so you guys know. Because you do get the, the canopies, the tree canopies that sort of block out all of the light and starve out the plants under them. So yeah, the reality is not usually like this abundant everywhere you look, there's plants all over the place. Who is eating my tortoises? Who is consuming my little tortai? I need to know these things. All right, and then let's see. We'll put some things over here. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Can't fit that there. Ah, oh, ah, oh, but it's so pretty. Okay, we're going to just admire things for a minute. There goes a jaguar. So let's follow the jaguar, and maybe it can give us... Are you going to come over here and eat my tortoise? Aha! You're just stretching. I thought for sure the jaguar was going to come over and eat the tortoise. Are you gonna eat these ants? Are my ants dead? I don't see any ants in there. Do you do you see any ants, Jaguar? Don't tell me you're eating the ants. I don't think the Jaguar is eating the ants. See, this is nice. This is the kind of awesomeness I like to see in our healthy, beautiful biome. Peeking through. Are you sniffing for something? Oh, you changed your mind. Oh, this is nice too. Hello, beautiful Jaguar. All right. All right. Well, I think they seem to be doing okay. Let's check out our population of marsh deer. All right. So, Kipibera population, jaguar population, marsh deer population. Still going down pretty low on those marsh deer. So, we might need a lot more marsh deer than I thought in order to support um, the jaguars. So, yeah, I might have to add in even more marsh deer. Hmm. 
All right. Well, I think we're good for now, though, you guys. And we're losing a few of the populations, but I think we'll be okay at keeping an eye on them and maybe trying to just throw in more animals and bring balance to our little biome. And next time, I think we're actually going to start messing around in the deserts because it's so much fun to have multiple biomes going. And then now that we're starting to get the hang of it, we might start doing biomes where we specialize in doing like experiments and we just start with like this or that and we mix it together and we only use certain types of things or we, we see how like overpopulated an area without predators can go or how many predators at max can be supported um in different areas it'll be really interesting but all right i will see you guys next time and we will probably go and start creating a desert i wonder what we're gonna call it oh watch out little capybara you live on the edge my friend you live right on the edge <laughs>